Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip shows how to make two histograms on a single chart. Um, so in Excel, once you have your data entered and your chart made, let's go ahead and put, put a label for Adriana and David, and then let's label 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I can see shirts per day going anywhere from 31 to 75, so this 30 to 80 should include all of those and let's look on Adriana how many days was she greater than 30 did she make more than 30 but less than 40 well since I have these in order I can just say one two three <clears throat> and how many David zero and Adriana had two between 40 and 50 David had one two three four five and Adriana had three above 50, what, four, because there's a 58. And David had one, two, three, four, five. And above 60, but less than 70, would be two for Adriana, one for David, and above 70 would be 1 for Adriana and 0 for David. So I guess I really don't need my 80. So if I select, click, and drag, and let go, and then I'm going to insert this one right here. Insert a column chart, but I want it side by side so that I can see the different differences side by side. I just need to add a title short production for 12 days I need to add axes titles this one's going to be days that's how many days she made that many 30 shirts or 40 shirts or more shirts or 50 or more shirts and then here this would be shirts per day so there will be like three days with 30 more than 30 but less than 40 shirts per day two days on the blue on Adriana four days two days and one David had five days, more than 40, less than 50. Five days, more than 50, less than 60. Make those, I can make larger text there so it's a little easier to read. Make a larger graph if I need to, if they get scrunched. Then I can copy and paste that to my report. Now I ought to look at my conclusion on my report just to make sure that it stays the same. If that looking at that graph changes my conclusion, then I should change my conclusion if I'm and then include that chart to back it up to support my decision. So those are that's how you make two histograms on a single chart. Doing it manually by ordering them, it's easier to count how many are in each group.